From Galileo to the Hubble telescope, throughout time we've relied on visuals of space to attempt to answer some of the world's most pressing questions, but we've never been able to see back far enough in time. That's about to change. This is the Square Kilometre Array, or SKA, the world's largest science project. By 2030, thousands of dishes with a collective area of one square kilometre and up to 2,000 kilometres apart in Australia and South Africa will allow us to hear back to the beginning of the universe. They'll act as one giant radio telescope letting us eavesdrop on space. What it hears and turns into data images will allow us to finally answer questions like how did the stars and galaxies form after the Big Bang? What about the planets? How does dark energy work? Are we alone in the universe? There'll no doubt be other life-changing discoveries too. One thing we know for sure is the science behind this project will change the way we use, store and process data forever making all of our lives easier. AUT in its High Performance Computing Research Lab leads New Zealand's role in the project. At AUT, we're helping to design the correlator, which houses the high-speed computers. It's the brain of the operation and makes all of the data appear as though it's coming from just one telescope, making it easier for scientists to find things of note. It also pulls out all of the unnecessary information that researchers don't need, like mobile phone interference. We're working to ensure the data processor in both countries produces images that have the processing power of 100 million computers, yet are extremely power efficient. That's because the telescope will produce data equivalent to 100 times the global internet traffic. The world doesn't have computers capable of processing this extraordinary level of data yet. To figure out how to do this, we're using our radio telescopes at Walkworth, just north of Auckland. They produce 5 to 10 gigabytes of data a second, compared to the SKA's demand of 160,000 gigabytes a second. We use the data from our telescopes and send it in real time to our city campus and use it for modelling the SKA's demands. This is the biggest science project New Zealand has ever been involved in, but AUT can't do it alone. We're working with other universities and industry partners both in New Zealand and internationally, creating jobs, intellectual property and major discoveries that will live on well past the SKA.